Good morning and welcome to Fishing for Fun with the Fisher Fun family, my new sub channel for birding with Alexia. And it is January 30th, 2023, almost the end of January already. I can't believe it. And we are here in Monterey, California, and we are going to head to the Monterey Bay Aquarium and have a wonderful adventure, and we'll share that with you. We are on Cannery Row here in Monterey Bay, California, and we are at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We're gonna go to the aquarium and we're gonna spend the day here and spend the day on Cannery Row. We have probably about 10 minutes before the aquarium opens up opens up to the public at 9.45 and we're gonna go in there and see what kind of fun we can fish for. So it says, welcome, come explore your connection to the animals, plants, and habitats of Monterey Bay and join us in protecting the ocean, ocean's future. Just a quick note, when we came to check in to buy a ticket here, we actually had to scan a QR code and go onto their website to buy the tickets. They no longer sell tickets at the window anymore. So just a heads up, try to buy your tickets ahead of time online. So Amelia, I think you were only, you've only ever been here when you were little. So what is your first impression of this place just walking through the door? Where do you want to go first? Uh, let's see. Looking on the map. I want to see sea otters. So this... I think it's the closest one. Okay, so you want to go see the sea otters? Yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to go do. Oh, well, we have to wait. They have the... Yeah. The, the, we're, we have to wait for the rope to drop, just like Disneyland. We can walk through the gift shop. You want yeah, to walk through the gift shop? So <laughs> Exactly what they wanted us to so it looks like they've got some really cute stuffed animals. Oh, he's cute, maybe on the way out. And they've got uh, shirts, toys, books, lots and lots of stuffed animals. Lots of different merchandise. Oh my gosh, look at these cute little baby onesies. Cute baby toys. Cute more toys. More books. Look at the cute little sea otter. Shirts. Yeah, this is a big gift shop. It looked small at first from the outside, but they have sea toad merchandise. Oh, cute little puzzles. I'm gonna get have to get a hat on the way out. Pictures. I'm gonna have to get that chubby Icicle. mugs. Icicle. Uh, cute. Very exciting. And they've got some pens. Scarves and bags. Lots of lots and lots of little souvenirs to make your trip memorable. We're gonna have to get grandma something. They got pins and pictures. They got lanyards. Ooh, we've gotta get a lanyard. What was I saying that we needed a lanyard for? I forget. The keys and the there was some, oh, my mountain high pass. Yeah. And plates, jewelry. <laughs> A little bit of lobster. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, some 
blown glass creations. But, exactly uh, like their on way counterpart. We'll definitely come back on the way out to grab something, won't we? Yes. Don't forget to look. What do you think that floating thing up there is? Is that an enrichment thing? Maybe. Wonder if there's fish in there. There's a fish in there. A living one. A fish in that yes. thing? Oh, there's Garibaldi. Headed into the open sea area. Not only do they have great exhibits here, they have beautiful views of the ocean from the windows. There you go. Wait, where are we going? Into the deep. The open sea? Sure, let's go. Okay. Pacific mackerel. Hi, mackerel. I think I caught one of these in Animal Crossing. You caught one of them in Animal Crossing? Oh, Animal Crossing. And there's, I don't know if those are real jellyfish. Do you think those are real jellyfish? Yes. Looks like, almost looks like a projection. <laughs> Purple striped jelly. And there's some moon jellyfish. Sea gooseberry. Oh, look how tiny they are. They're so small. As small as your finger. They're, They're so small. That's cool. Spotted comb jelly. These guys are small too. Look at here's my finger. Wow. This stuff hurts. Lots of jellyfish well sea nettle wowzers quite spectacular beautiful oh you press the button and the jellies light up that's cool no, this is them in their natural environment. This is, this is natural, and then it, that's with the light. That's really cool. You just press that button right there. Sure. 
Moon jellies. Lots of little guys. And these are really small too. Tiny drifters. What are we looking at here? Microscopic jellies? Baby jellyfish? Jellyophyra. Ooh. So, these are the babies of what you see across there. Oh, baby yeah, moon jellies? These are, these are, I would say, maybe like four or five days into the life cycle. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you can see here, looking at this one's kind of curled up, but these little white spots that you see around the uh -huh. arms. Those are kind of like, they're just reflecting the light right now. Uh -huh. They're really like the gyroscopic cells of the jelly, so it's what helps the, the jellyfish orient itself in the water. Oh, cool. And what'll happen um, as the, uh, the jellyfish matures is each one of those arms will begin to fuse together, and it creates the bell shape of the jellyfish. Yeah. Very cool. What, what, what? Look at that. It's just so cool. Oh, look at the school of fish down there. That's what they do. You know why they do that, right? Why? To look big. They school like that to look big. Because there's lots of, I mean, would you say, would you say that there are a lot of predators in this tank for those fish? Yeah. I mean, there's pretty much, pretty much every fish in here would eat those fish down there. Look at that. I wonder if those are the feeder fish down there. But anyways, this is supposed to simulate open ocean. So are we, what are we looking at, anchovy? doesn't say northern I'm thinking anchovy. northern anchovy and they're talking about how they school together and how they're a prize catch and they oh, migrate oh. hi little anchovy Hello, sir. It smells a little fishy up here. Would you say that it smells like fish over here? Yes. Oh. These are pelagic red crabs. All oh, these little guys. There's fish over here. Yes, but I, I'm, I suspect that, that that those fish are not the fish that we're <laughs> that we're smelling. Maybe they're feeding the seabirds. Okay, well this would be one of my favorite areas, being a birder. These are seabirds' dangerous diet. 
Yeah, this is very good information, and this is not just the puffins that have problems with this. Many, many, many seabirds do have a problem with mistaking um, plastic for um, jellyfish or other types of food, and it, it is, it's becoming a huge problem. A huge, huge problem, and definitely we need to raise awareness to that. And I'm glad that they have this information up for people to know. But oh my gosh, so cute! Look at these cute little guys. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? How is your day? <laughs> Hi. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite parts of the trip. What do we have in here? It looks like we have a common mirrors and um, tufted puffins. Look at the mirrors. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so cute. He's just <laughs> this tufted puffins just being so comical. It's just a happy day today. They probably just got fed and now they're enjoying the sun in the day. These tufted puffins. Hello, hello there. Oh, he's doing it again. Yes, I will video you. Whatever you want. You can be the star of the show. Do more jumping. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It looks like he likes to be the star of the show. He or she. Thank you, sir, for the entertainment. I really appreciate it. You're very, very talented. <laughs> Looks like they have a gallery of creations being made out of the plastic that they find. And people got really creative with them. Sea turtle. Lamp. Jellyfish. Wow. Seagull. No, not seagull, gull, or albatross, actually. Wow. The creativity. And then, uh, this is a piece of art showing all the junk that just lays around the beach. It's really sad, all the plastic we have floating around in the ocean. I'm really, really glad that they're raising awareness about this. Pack out your trash, people. When you go to the beach or anywhere. Looks like we're going into the seabird area now. Soaring with seabirds. It looks like they have some fun interactive stuff for kids, showing how pelicans dive for their food, how they catch different fish, how puffins catch fish. That's cool. And gold. This looks like uh, shows how different animals fly, different birds, how you see them while they're flying. Amelia is going to do a good demonstration of how that bird flaps. Is it a video game? Is it? I don't know. I am not too sure. Amelia's 
Amelia's gonna show us how to feed the hungry chicks. We're hungry, mama. More food, more food, we're starving. Keep going, keep going. More food, more food, we're hungry. More food, more food. Okay, we're into the deep sea area. Get to see what's in what's in the depths of the ocean. No flash photography, but we're videoing, so we can we'll be we're fine. Why would they say Amelia, why do you think they'd say no flash photography? Yes. Hi Mr. Hammerhead. Are you having a fabulous day? It's a map of the different deep parts of the ocean. types of deep sea creatures. Ooh, the feather star. The feather star, one of the creepiest animals in the ocean. <laughs> yes, he's very cute. So they've got projections. Why do you think, why do you think they don't have actual deep, mostly deep sea real fish down here? Well, I think it's dangerous to go down there. It's like going through eight atmospheres. Yes, they'd probably die. Jellyfish are probably okay though. Jellyfish. Yeah. Looks like it talks about different deep sea creatures. Oh, what's this over here? This is how they communicate, I'm sure. see what it says. Living light. Oh, it talks about their bioluminescence. That's cool. Some kind of caterpillar video game. It's like the video game Caterpillar, Amelia. <laughs> They don't have a name for this jellyfish yet? Huh. Was it gooseberry? <laughs> Looks like a lot of great information about deep sea animals. Pom pom and 
enemy. Fire stars. shows some deep sea stuff. Not real, though. It's cool. Lots of info. Snails? Oh yeah, some deep sea fish. I wonder if this tank had to be pressurized for them. We had somebody working here tell us that if we wait, we can watch her feed the octopus. She's giving him his breakfast. Oh, I see the escapee. I'm sure the girl knows that there's an escapee coming up towards her. <laughs> They're pretty smart. They can they can get out of tanks that aren't locked down. They've been waiting for this. They've been planning for They've been planning for a jailbreak this whole time. <laughs> That's really nice of her to let us know that. She's feeding them. Oh, it's really cool. She discovered one's missing. I think she knew. I think she could probably see him being an escapee. They know their animals well here. Thank you for letting us film you, sir. Enjoy your breakfast and your day. Oh, oh look at that. Water's kind of cold. I don't mind. So, just so. You, you know that water is probably in the refrigerator? The answer is yes. This water here in this exhibit, in this floor, is probably another eight or nine degrees colder than it is out on the surface water in the bay. Really? Yeah, because that's what it's like at uh, 13,000 feet down in the bay. They look like Big roly polies. Well, well, you weren't here. You had walked up late after I said it. That is their first cousin. Uh, the roly poly blocks in your garden are directly related to this animal. Isn't that fun? That's really cool. A little uh, sanitation thing, right? Oh, hand sanitizer is Amelia. They're really cute. Aren't they great? Yeah. Are they also related to lobsters? They kind of look they're like in they're the really. Family, so yeah. Yes. Uh, but again, their closest relative is that garden bug that you're familiar with. A big garden roly poly underwater. Yep. Isopod. <laughs> Isopod. Very cool. Looks like they have an auditorium with different show times here. Making into the deep, mysteries of the deep, behind the glass and journey to Baja are the four, and the sea otter story are the five shows that they show at the auditorium. I don't know if we're going to be able to get around to it, but that looks pretty cool. Queen's Edge exhibit. Coastal habitats at the ocean's edge, what you would see by the coast. We've got the kelp forest here. What do we see here in the kelp forest?
They have a beautiful aquarium window of the kelp forest. You can sit and look at the, the fish. It's always been one of my favorite areas every time I've gone here. Beautiful. It's a big, giant, Pacific octopus, I believe. Isn't he magnificent? Holy shrimp! Look at how big this shrimp is. It's ginormous. No one can call him shrimpy. No one could call him shrimpy. We got some decorator crabs. Decorator crabs in here. They don't look very and Spot prawns. Very cute. Deep reef area, so as you're going into the reef, the deeper part of the reef. Two eels. <laughs> Wolf eels. <laughs> Amelia, dare you walk into this hole? No. Creepy characters. Those are skeletons. They're skeletons, thankful. We got rockfish here. Start. All the rockfish. All the rockfish. Definitely. Definitely enough to start a rock band. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to start a rock band, rockfish? Some really pretty colors. Some pretty big fish in this tank. Gigantic, right? Gigantic. Yeah. To the wharf area, what you'd see off of the wharf. <laughs> These are the fish that you'd see kind of in the wharf area, the legs of the wharf. what would grow on the wood planks and the fish swimming around it. It's our snail. Hello, little gastropod. What, what do you call 
snails, aquatic snails, the gastro pups. The gastro pups. Well, that's just a little nickname I made, I made for them since they're cute little guys and they're gastropods are the new pets that are like dogs. Yes. Yeah, honestly, these days the orange ruffy aren't doing too well. We catch them before they reach breeding age. So the population is already in peril. This isn't a real seafood restaurant. This is like a mock seafood restaurant that talks about the different types of fish that you eat. Sure, scoop up a lot of fish. But at a huge environmental cost. Yeah, in a matter of minutes, seamount habitats and slow-growing corals are destroyed without a single cry for help. What's worse is this type of damage can take generations to grow back. Okay, head into me and Amelia's I bet favorite part. The seabird area. Ooh. Come on, Amelia. Let's go look at the seabirds. which is related to a snail, but the unusual thing is that uh, even for chitons, so this one has its shell internal to it. So if I, if you could take its, uh, its mantle off, this is what its shell looks like. It's a series of plates. Man, this is not going
like they've got some really yummy pastries, some really yummy cookies. Look at the cookies. You want a cookie, Amelia? I want those macaroons. Okay, why don't you ask her for some macaroons? Hi. Coffee and tea. Ice cream sandwiches, drinks, drinks and fruit. Okay, I got a falafel burger without the sauce and they were able to make it vegan for me, which was really, really nice. And uh, Amelia got a soft, pretzel. a soft pretzel and some macaroons and an apple juice. And then I got a fountain root beer. It's not one of those big companies. It's like a microbrew type root beer. And the, let's see, the falafel burger was $16.49. The pretzel was $10.99. $6.49 for the apple juice, $5.99 for the fountain soda, and $9 for the macaroon, and it came out to $53.49. And if you're a pass holder here, apparently you can get a discount, but we're not pass holders, so we didn't get a discount, but that's okay. It looks like a yummy, yummy lunch. Bon appetit! So what did you think of the aquarium? <laughs> what was your favorite part? The isopods. The, the petting of the isopods? Yes. I think I really liked the puffins. Those were my favorite. My favorite piece of merchandise. The isopods. Isopods. And I fully endorse <coughs> isopods. You fully endorse isopods? Isopods. Hi isopod stuffed animals were in high demand. It was hard to find some isopods. Well, we enjoyed it. I give this aquarium a 10 out of 10, too. We definitely were fishing for fun and we found it. Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna leave you with a view of the benefactors. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can know when I put out new videos. I'm going to try to put out new videos at least once a week. And thank you so much for fishing for fun with the Fisher family.